NASCAR Cup Series today is Brett Dalton. He's got the green flag in his right hand. Field hits the Geico restart zone and the green goes back in the air. Racing through the gearbox one more time to turn one. Dead even at the front of the field. Side by side, no advantage either way. It's Chastain on the inside, Larson on the outside. Still no advantage as they go wheel to wheel. Out of turn number two for the lead. Chastain and Larson continue to go door to door. Now there's trouble on the back straight away. Daniel Suarez gets turned around. Michael McDowell is involved. Eric Jones is also involved. Todd Gilliland's car, Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman, all involved in this incident off turn two. And that puts us under the caution flag for the fourth time in the afternoon. It got started when Eric Jones got crossed up coming out of turn number two. And, well, Kurt, on these restarts, everybody is in close formation. A lot of others went along for the ride as well. Yeah, they did. In fact, at our feet in turn number three, somebody lost a, a, a wheel and tire that which went rolling by along the top lane of turn number three. Austin Dillon some damage to his car. He continues away. Austin Sendrick got a piece of this. We mentioned Todd Gilliland was involved. Also the car of Daniel Suarez. He now begins to drive away from the scene as well. Well that uh, Goodyear tire and that wheel that Kurt described rolling by itself. Uh, I believe it's the right rear from the Eric Jones cars. He is missing that as he makes his way down the pit lane. Jones is the one that broke free up off of turn number two. Not sure if he had a loose right rear wheel, but he had already broken free right in front of traffic on a restart. And Rusty, that's about as worst time as you can do it is on a restart to break loose. You got that right. And I'm just wondering if the, if the tire that came off that car isn't what started this whole thing. It looks like he might have lost the right rear tire and spun and then took everybody out behind him. That very well could be. Over a half dozen cars involved with this and we had the opportunity to see the replay on NASCAR TV. It would appear that that right rear coming off that race car is what triggered this race course. They're lined up two by two, they're all stacked up and that Rusty is probably one of the more volatile portions on this racetrack when you've made that second cut to come off the corner, the car gets a little light there. And of course, when you're trying to do it on three wheels instead of four, I imagine it gets real light. Well, that's one of the toughest spots in this racetrack coming off a of turn two. It really, everybody gets really locked down on the bottom of the racetrack there and they have a big problem there if the car is not hooked up and if it's not tight again. But I do want to go back and stay looking at this right rear tire deal and see if this tire it did come off and that's what caused him to spin. Obviously, it was gone when he came past us a little while ago. And I'm just watching replays up here in one of our monitors, guys. And uh, it very well could happen because the car's moving all over the place.